thank him for his presence. Amen. We ought to. Yeah. We ought to. Brother Scott, if you don't care, I don't know if you can. I don't know how technology works. Can you give me the chorus of me touch me? I want to, I want to show you something just real quick. Amen. You glad to say anything? Say amen. Looking forward to the meeting. God's already helping us. Some of y'all might have sausage biscuits for breakfast. We had preaching for breakfast this morning. And I'm blessed preacher Josh. Just wonderful. I enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah. Sunday school was good as always. Looking forward to today. Uh, Hebrews, don't anybody get nervous? I ain't going to say. Uh, Hebrews chapter number 12, uh, verse 1, let's lay aside every weight of sin to do us so easily to set us and let us run with patience and grace and set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And here's the part that I'd like to get to. Who for the joy that was set before him and near the cross despised his shame and sat down at the right hand of God the Father on his throne. I want you to look with me if you would. Is it okay if we quote God this morning? That's the okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to change he to I. I want to change me to them. I touch him. Oh, I touch him. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Yes. Something wonderful happened. And now I know. I touched them. And I made them all. I was sitting there, y'all were singing that. I saw all that. Lord have mercy, Randy. That just rolled my stone a couple of times. The moment that he touched, the moment that he saved us, what a moment it was for him. Hey, what one moment it was for us. I mean, I, folks, listen. You won't have a better moment in life than the moment you get saved. Amen. It changed your eternity. It gave you, it gave you heaven. What a moment. Yeah. But man, alive. And, and, and I want to say this. I, and and I, I'm not preaching. I want to give you two things. And if we're going to move right along, throw, throw your schedule out the window this morning. Um, I want to give you two things about that. That's why I, I don't preach predestination. Hey, how many of you all like to know what you got for Christmas three months ahead of time? Anybody? <laughs> Chase, that's it. God bless you. <laughs> Kim, Scott, don't tell him. You don't need to know. But you're not listening. I'm one of those people, if it's under the tree, I want to know. But don't tell me. I want to get to Christmas and I want to unwrap it. Chase, do you believe that God knows who's going to get saved and who's not and has he already chosen? Hey, I'm going to tell you something. I believe in God of free will. We have to choose you this day whom you will serve. We have that in our blessed, our blessed Bible. Whosoever will come after me, I, I, I'll, I'll save him. Amen. Whosoever will let him take the water of life freely, I'm glad to whosoever will think. Amen. I'm glad of that. What a moment. Jesus pays the price of Calvary for mine and your salvation. And he's looking ahead to the moment that you get saved. And he lays out, if you will, every moment that he would offer it to you. Every moment that he would woo himself to you. Every moment that he'd spend the night in bed with you. Tossing and turning. Every moment of wickedness. Every moment of frustration. Every moment of God, am I really saved? God, are you talking to me? He would lay out every moment. And he sees that in that moment that he could give you the gift of salvation, but more than that, that he could receive the gift of having you. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. And then that moment happens. The moment that, well, Chase, we, we've got to focus on the joy of when we got him, but can we take a look this morning at the joy it was for him the moment he got us? Yes. Well, Chase, it wasn't much joy in getting us. Honey, he gave his life for you. Amen. What a joy it must have been to finally get you and I in salvation. Yeah. Well, Chase, we can lose our salvation. I want to let you know something. You and I should shout glory because we cannot lose our salvation. Amen. 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 And I'll give you somebody else that's thrilled about that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Amen. Jesus would look at the Father. And, and, and I kind of feel like I might, I might be just a little bit more excited than you are today. But it's okay. <laughs> Jesus would look at the Father. And maybe one of the angels, and this is just a hypothetical, don't nobody fall out with me. One of the angels would look at him and say, Jesus, did you hear the news? 
There's folks down there on earth that believe they can lose their salvation. And Jesus would look up at the Father as nine and say this. After all I've done for them, God, you're really going to let me lose them? And God would just, son, it's okay. You'll never lose them. Amen. Might not help anybody else, but it helps me. Say this this morning, wave a blessing. Amen. We'll, we'll open up the testimonies. We'll get right to preaching this morning. Um, say one more thing. Give you one more note. Came in. And it's so awesome to see so many folks back with us to see prayers answered back today. I've missed Miss Sharon's worship in the choir. I've missed it. It's a thrill of death. Good to have Bess was back. Tasha and the boys are here. And uh, Tasha and the boys came back there. And Avery came up the stairs. Boy, Avery, the dude. And uh, came up the steps and he saw Griffin. And he said, and he jumped. And he said, Griffin! <laughs> and Griffin was excited to see him. And I said, man alive, it's like a family reunion back here. <laughs> And Brian said, well, it might not be a good thing. <laughs> I got faith on that. Oh, uh -huh. when, yeah. when you get to heaven. Yeah. Like I haven't been through my history. It's not over yet. 
Yeah. Oh, yes. And not just a God, but I've got the God. The God. Yes, sir. Amen. I mean, I'm a little slow, but it's, I've got the God. Yeah. That's got all the power. Yes, sir. In heaven and in earth. And he can do all things. Yes, sir. Everything. Yeah. In the word of God, in the scriptures, it says nothing is impossible with God. Amen. In a world we live in today, there's people today that they've got gods. And I mean, they may work their gods, they make relationships their gods, they make people their gods, uh, but their gods, but there's only one God. Ha! How did we told Moses when Moses said, who shall I say sent me? He said, you just let them know I am sent me. Yeah, amen. I am who? I am God today. Amen. Yeah, amen. Amen. Right, sir. That's a lot of power now. Yeah. I'll tell my age in a minute, but listen, he may have had one of them record players and they're coming back in style now. Get you some vinyl, you put them on there, and it play, and it play, and it go round and around, but then when I was little, you'd get a skip, and it skip, and it go back. Skip, and it go back. Keep repeating the same thing. God let me know this morning as I got the shower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I just parked up real good. I'm going to on this one. Get him, we're coming to walk a lot here. We do this. I do it. I know you do. I want to know walk a lot. We've been saved by the grace of God. And all of a sudden, there comes something in our life. It stands in the way. We'll come to a mountain in our life. And then, what am I going to do? How am I going to get through this? There's no way around it. And the Bible tells us to press on with your children. But there's the spirit.
still live with us. Amen. So your love loved ones and your love children and your loved ones, huh? those that are sick and those today, they're still old. Huh? I just want to get you out of faith today.
workplace, how long are you going to stay parched? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever thought, I mean, hey, I know it's starting to get cool out. Ain't nothing worse than you working outside. You ain't gonna quit what you're doing, you're gonna get hydrated. And then you just begin to get a bit weak. You're dehydrated, you're getting a headache. Your body aches. Your love. Your mouth just gets so dry. Boy, you'll take one little sip. You'll get a drink of water. Oh! 
goodness. God, I'm going to have this faith. I'm taking this faith. I believe you from the soul's salvation. Now we remind you. Skip. Skip. Boy, you know, I'm not preach like that. This message has been preaching all along for years and years. They want to hear some new stuff. You know what? I used to let the devil use that against me. If I preach something one week, one year, I, you can't preach that one again. They'll know you're just doing a, a rerun. Anybody like some beans? Oh, yeah. I like fresh soup beans. But you want to know one of the best ones are? They sit in the refrigerator. And all the ham fat and the dog meat. Everything that's good for you gets all absorbed up in the beans. And they swell up about twice as much as what they want when they're fresh. I shall never leave thee. Don't forsake me. Skip. All 2021 cars. Not only working on the 2022s. Oh, they're just so much better. They'll drive themselves. You can let your hands off the wheel. You can as soon as you come. You let go of it. It'll steer itself. We need modern technology because it just ain't good enough. And something better that we can do, something that's going to catch the world out. Oh, I've got a few. 
you fellas. God's opened the door. I just want to tell you what he keeps talking. He knows about it. There's a people on my heart right now. Some children are on my heart right now. Come too close. Tell me, pray, church. Boy, I stopped by yesterday. You told the drug skeleton. Got a moving look. Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. 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 Anybody got anything on your heart this morning? God's help you. You like to testify. I've been born today. It's a good big God's house. Somebody else? Say this way of prayer, Lord, we speak to you, Brother Mike, and Ms. Lee, continue to the prayer. Uh, we be much in prayer still for Ms. Bobby, Brother Aaron. Uh, keep Pastor Bob in prayer. Uh, be keep in prayers our missionaries. Uh, be keep in prayer, Ms. Dean Moore. Uh, and, and I say these, and I know we repeat these on a regular basis, but they need to be on your altars at home. They need to be. Um, because here's the truth. One day it might be us. And, and I, I want to pray for somebody the way I'm going to need them to pray for me. Does that make sense? Because truth of it is, uh, we go through prayer request time, and, and, and my wife, such a good wife, I have lost my prayer book. Uh, I keep a prayer book, prayer list book, uh, that way I know what I'm praying for, and I've lost it. Darling found it. She said, here it is. And I'm back to writing things down now. Um, just because here's the truth. If Sunday night service was over and we all gathered together, just had a 15-minute meeting at the church and said, hey, here's what I need. I need a 100% perfection. Uh, tell me every prayer request has been mentioned. Hey, I got a feeling we might hit four or five, but then we go back and watch the service and get in dialed in that oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. And I forgot about that. So I encourage you, if you have to write things down, do what you need to do. But there will come a day that we're going to be the ones in the morning. And I want to bring you down like I'm going to need it. Yeah. Uh, so just to make announcements, don't forget, uh, we've got Thanksgiving meeting coming starting November the 12th. November 12th, 13th, and 14th. We're right around the corner. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. Different preachers coming to be with us. Uh, the heavenly air is going to be with us. Brother Narcisco back in the Philippines will be with us. We've got blessings coming to be with us. Not with about half of us, with us. And we need to be here. Chase, what, what even is Thanksgiving meetings? It's just a revival of Thanksgiving. I don't know about you, I could use more Thanksgiving. I could use more turkey, more ham, all that stuff. <laughs> But anyway, it's good to be here. Looking forward to coming back tonight. You need to be careful going out. It's still raining outside. Um, man, I'll never forget. Uh, it was it was raining once, and uh, uh, my blessed mother, bless her heart. If you're wondering what kind of rain it is, my mother came in and looked at my stepdad, and she said, "Wow, that rain sure is wet." <laughs> and my stepdad looked at her and said. Thank you for that. So in case anybody's listening, it might not be raining cats and dogs. It might not be pouring rain. But I guarantee it's wet. But we're looking forward to coming back tonight. Don't forget prayer rooms this evening. We're looking forward to it. Anything else I'm missing or overlooking? God bless you. Preacher Josh, if you would, praise the Lord.